to watch the Space Shuttle Discovery launch, STS-133. Check out our kayaks. We're going to be out in the middle of the intercoastal waterway watching this Space Shuttle go up. You know you're in a good viewing area for the Space Shuttle when you see a giant radar dome sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Jeez Louise. Everybody's, what does that mean? It's the freaking bridge. Oh, the toll bridge. Or the, <laughs> look at everybody's here getting ready for the launch. Well, I was going to use my new Kodak, but for some reason, uh, the batteries are dead on it. And we found out that there's a reason they call this Mosquito Lagoon. There's so many mosquitoes out here, it's not even funny. Our final resting place, and I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys the pad. It's kind of far away, but once it goes up, you guys will be able to see it for sure. All right, this may be dangerous, but I'm doing it. I got this camera out and we're, you can, so that you can see what's going on. I'm trying to set up all sorts of craziness. This is the camera that I'm using for the waterproofness. And then, where is it? The other camera that for some reason is not turning on right now. And there's Adam with the final camera angle. The giant cannon. Here's my final resting spot on my rock with our kayaks back there behind us. And there's Adam, and I got both cameras. I'll probably end up asking Adam if I can take this one out because it's his. And so begins the waiting game. Let's get a sweet wooden kayak. What do you guys think of my sweet setup here for videotaping the launch? Wow, this camera is much better. <laughs> there was a mass influx of people on kayaks. Look at them all. Of course, leave it to this guy to anchor right in front of us so we can't see. This guy here in the yellow is our best friend. He's the enforcer. He's keeping everybody out from in front of us. Adam's gonna reach down there and grab this jellyfish. It's a, it's a cannonball jellyfish. Got it. Oh, so that's what we call a cannonball jellyfish. They don't really sting. Turtles eat them. We like to throw them at my dad. Right now we're on a hold for somebody being in range, meaning like one of these kayakers is too close. Darn kayakers.
That was awesome. It was stupendous. Look at how great this looks. Wow. And thus begins the mass exodus of people. Look at this. What do you guys think of the sunset? Finally made it back into the truck and there's like 15 mosquitoes in here with me. There are so many mosquitoes here in Mosquito Lagoon. It is ridiculous. And now, of course, we are stuck in traffic. Oh, joy. You know, this traffic wouldn't be so bad if I weren't on a peninsula and there was no other way off except for to head the, I don't know, three miles back off the peninsula? Ugh. Oh, by the way, if you're ever stuck in traffic like this and uh, you decide that just because there's a dotted yellow line here, that means that you can pass everybody, I don't like you. And you probably shouldn't do that. Look at who I ran into at some random person. Whoa, look at the light! At some random person's house. I don't, I have no idea how the hell you got in here at all. You guys are supposed to do something entertaining. Uh, is that a new camera? <laughs> no. Oh. We're going over Thor stuff well, here. I, oh. And all these guys are in, what the heck? Hello? <laughs> wow, who is this person and where did he come from? Hello. <laughs> That's all he ever says. Hello. Hello. <laughs> And now for the long trip home. Hopefully uh, we will we have stayed here long enough to miss all of the traffic, but you never know. So you guys are coming with me. I mean, you guys have to come with me. There's like no real choice there for you, is there? Sorry about that. Well, I've literally been in the car for three seconds and we are already in traffic. It is 10 o'clock at night and there's still people sitting in traffic from the launch. The launch was at 4.50 this afternoon. They estimated 80,000 people watched this launch. 80,000, that's a football stadium. That's impressive. Look at this ridiculousness. They still have police and everything out here patrolling and directing traffic. That is crazy. And here I was thinking I was home free. Apparently not. Well, that was a long and tedious drive home. I think I was in the car for like three hours when it normally should have taken me one hour to get home. Now, that's terrible. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I was just looking at the clock, like how late it is. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.